Hello, welcome back to my channel. It was a lot brighter in here, but in the past two seconds, the light completely changed, the sun went down. But nonetheless, I'm going to try to upload a what's in my bag video of my little crossbody impressionista. Let's get right into it. So on this bag, we have a silver Vera Bradley nameplate because this is a retired style and pattern. And also, um, they used to, you know, do the nameplates a little bit differently. So this is the old style of Vera writing. And then on the back, we do have a slip pocket, perfect size for my iPhone 11. Um, this is the regular iPhone 11 um, with a bulkier case on, but it fits really nicely in here. This is one of those bags that is sewn a little bit, like maybe like half an inch over. And sometimes I actually take a pair of scissors and cut that so it goes, it opens all the way to the end. But I think for right now, um, I'm okay with kind of maneuvering it like this because that way the phone does stay a little bit more secure in the back pocket because those ends are sewn closed. So I do get why Vera Bradley does that with some of their bags. So that is what is in that back slip pocket. And that's kind of one of my um, non-official requirements about a bag is that there's at least one outside pocket where I can put my phone. Right into the main interior, you will see everything that I've got inside. It is a little bit dark, um, but you can see the Impressionista stripes, interior pattern there. There's some a little bit of loose strings. I did get this um, new with tags on Poshmark and it came with a little coin purse. I only paid 20 bucks for it, so it was a super great deal. And I also have the newest Vera Bradley pattern in here. It's called Sensational Mickey Ditsy, so we will get to see that. Actually, let's just go ahead and make that the first thing that we look at. So this is the newest Vera Bradley pattern, Sensational Mickey Ditsy. It's actually the interior pattern of the main print, which is called Sensational Six Paisley, I believe. And I think I'm gonna post this video today. So today's Wednesday, uh, July 14th. The pattern officially releases at all Vera Bradley stores and on verabradley.com tomorrow, which is Thursday, July 15th. I got this early because I do live near a Dillard's and they had this pattern out ahead of time. So I've had this for almost a week now, and the only reason why I have not posted it is because I didn't want to scoop Vera. Um, I wanted to wait until they posted an official update themselves before I posted this ahead of time. So even though it was available at Dillard's, I still wanted to just wait. So I'm sorry that the lighting is not, there we go. Oh, that's much better there, okay. So here it is in a little bit better lighting. So this pattern is like an indigo sort of background color, like an indigo blue, not quite a navy, it's a little bit lighter than that. And again, this is the ditzy pattern. So the main pattern actually has all of the characters. It's got Pluto, Mickey, I think Minnie, Donald, Goofy on it. And um, obviously I don't have anything with the main interior, interior they did have um there goes the light being all wacky again uh okay sorry we're going through all different kinds of different lightings here the store the dillard's that i went to did have a triple zip hipster they had a vera tote and a, a couple other things but with the main interior print. But I have to be honest, I like the Ditsy better and I am not too fond of the character illustrations. If you're one, if I'm uploading this a day early and you don't know what I'm talking about, go to Vera Bradley's Facebook page or go to their Instagram page or their Twitter. They did post an official photo of the main sensational six Paisley pattern so you can get a look at what that looks like. This is again, the interior Ditsy pattern. And by Ditsy, you know, this is the florals, the small flowers and the hidden Mickey heads, which I love. Typically with, um, not always, but with a lot of the Disney Vera Bradley patterns, the interior pattern is the exterior of the zip ID. Sorry if you hear banging at the door, we have one of those little uh, robot vacuums and so it's trying to get in here. So it's banging at the door. Um, but anyway, that's what this looks like. So you can see all different kinds of Mickey heads. Um, we've got 
like a, a deep pink, we've got a teal, we've got a blue, we've got a lighter blue there. Um, there is actually, let me, I forgot to take out my uh, ID here. There's actually a purple and a pink Mickey head. So if you're picking this out in person, you can kind of pick, you know, what color Mickey heads you want on the back of yours. I decided to go with the blue teals. There were like six zip IDs at my Dillard's that I was able to choose from. Also, I recommend usually Vera Bradley zippers on zip IDs are very smooth, but I do recommend if you're able to test out the zippers there because there were a couple that were had a, like a little bit of a bump in the zipper and it wasn't as smooth, but this, I did test this one out. This one seemed to be one of the most smooth uh, zip IDs that I tested out. So, wow, that vacuum is really trying to get in here. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to show you um, the interior pattern of the zip ID is actually the same as the outside. The zipper pulls are ribbed. One side says Vera Bradley and the other side says Disney. Just It's showing up backwards to me, but I think it should be right side to you guys. So anyway, that's what that looks like. You get your standard key ring, it says Vera Bradley on it. Yes, super, super cute. So again, I don't know what the full release is gonna look like. This is the first time a Disney print is coming out in the full signature Vera Bradley stores. They usually just go to Disney Springs, Vera Bradley, and online and shop Disney, and that's it. So I'm very excited. Um, we'll see what other styles they might have, but right now I just have the zip ID. Let's get back into the, what's in my bag, so I'll put this back in the frame show you again now that the lighting is a little bit better in here so i've got my usual bath and body lotion i apologize the light is just just crazy right now okay there's that now that the lighting has changed again here's another look at the zip id um i guess you got to see the zip id in four different lightings so if you're wondering what it looks like there we go okay so there we go. Another item that I have inside is the matching coin purse that came with the bag. This is just called the Vera Bradley coin purse. It is an older iteration of the coin purse. The current iteration has a zipper that goes a little bit down the side. It's actually a little bit smaller than this, believe it or not, the current one. And um, the current one also has a chapstick holder and a pocket inside. This is just one big pocket. And I have my peppermint oil at the top. And then here's a look at the inside. I have a couple panty liners, some band-aids, a piece of gum in the wrapper. And I've got a uh, little um, antiseptic wipe, scissors, nail clipper. There's also a, I think there's a, yeah, there's a nail file down here. It's at the bottom. There's a little nail file in a felt little case. And that is all that I keep inside of the little pouch. This is my little catch-all. I was using a bigger bag before this, but I'm able to get all of my, my absolute necessities in here. Oh, I didn't really show you this. I also have a, this is from the uh, Every Little Things case by Vera Bradley. It's like a little pill case or a lotion bottle or whatever. So I just have Tylenol and Excedrin in there. The Tylenol is the red and blue, the Excedrin is the white. So, and I'm the only one that really uses this. So um, I know which is which and all that good stuff. So. That is in my little catch-all, and honestly, if we're comparing colors here, I think even though this might be like a little bit bolder, you know, it's got the bolder outlines where Impressionista is a little bit more free-flowing, I do think these two colors go really well together. So it's another reason why I was excited to, to get this and going through my Impressionista kick right now. Back inside of the bag, I'm going to take out my... Um, I have my vaccination card in like this little laminated case that was just free flowing in there. I also have a feminine product. This is a little, I mean, I could probably fold it up and get it to fit in there. Maybe I'll mess with that a little bit, but I kind of had that nestled down on the side. Let's get another look inside here. I also have, and I, this always happens. So Paisley Wave is on sale, it's half off now, and it's starting to become really sparse online. My signature store had nothing left in Paisley Wave except like a turn lock wallet and a couple of the um, reactive items. That's it. They had no backpacks, they had no totes, no Vera totes, no zip IDs, nothing. 
and they told me that the shelves were pretty much wiped clean. So I actually got this when Paisley Way first released because I was interested in trying out the glasses that came with it. They are blue light blocking glasses and they're readers, but they don't have like um, any points. They're just basically fake glasses for the blue light purpose. So when you're on the computer, I uh, do work a desk job, so I'm on the computer all day and it's kind of nice having the blue lights and I do use them almost every day. But this is the Paisley Wave case that came with it and I picked out this pattern placement because I do really like the blowfish on there or puffer fish. Um, and then on the other end, there's a nice jellyfish. So I love the pattern placement, but I can fit, it's a little bit of a tight fit, but it's a worth it fit. And I'll tell you why. These are my usual sunglasses. I do have a couple pairs of sunglasses. These are the ones I like the most. I've had these for six years and they're still going strong. So yeah, they are a little bit big in for this, but I really am able to just kind of push them in there. And I like this because I have one of these bags in Heirloom Paisley. I used it for years. I love that bag style. And typically, I would just throw these sunglasses in there loose. But, you know, the little um, handles are flying around and getting scratched and everything. So this not only keeps it protected, but it keeps the little arms of the sunglasses tight. So they're not uh, flying around and it's actually less thick having them in this case. So that's great. And here, what, here's what else is left. And of course, now that I've taken out some of the bigger items, the smaller items are kind of falling down. I've got my hand sanitizer, my chapstick, my AirPods case, and I've got one uh, set of keys in this little hand sanitizer holder. And then I've got my partner's keys here. So here's a better look at Impressionista Impressionista Stripe, which is the interior pattern. And this was during the fun era, era, I always say that wrong, when Vera Bradley used to make their interior patterns exterior patterns. So if the interior pattern was popular, they used to pop that out and put that on hipsters and glennas and you name it, all kinds of bag styles. So I love that. I also love that it is quilted inside. And this just feels absolutely amazing. The, the fabric feels great. I went to my signature store the other day and I was a little bit disappointed because the new, the newest pattern that just came out, it's the Plaza Tiles or something like that. I looked at it in the Carson, which I was glad to see the Carson is still being made. But when I felt the material, it was so rough. And I don't know if it's because the fabric is being treated with something to make it feel a little bit stiffer or maybe you know after a few uses it'll soften up i don't know but i was really disappointed in the way the fabric felt it was very very rough and then i got this in the mail and this came with me to me brand new in tags still wrapped in plastic i don't know if it was the seller that wrapped it in plastic or it was like that when she had bought it but it's, anyway, it's just so soft and so plush. So anyway, I'm, I've just been feeling really nostalgic with older Vera right now because I feel like the new stuff is just, some of it's missing the mark to me. And I vow to be honest on my channel, you guys know how much I love Vera Bradley. You know I buy all my own stuff. And no matter how much I, I love the brand, I wanna just be honest with you about that. But anyway. This is also, this uh, new Vera Bradley pattern is in the recycled cotton. It's soft, it's not as soft as this, but it, it's not as stiff as that Plaza Tiles bag that I picked up in the store. So that's something, but um, yeah, this is, I believe in the new recycled cotton. So for what that's worth, the Plaza Tiles is also in the recycled cotton. Anyway, it could have been treated. That could be why it was so stiff like that. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that is the what's in my bag. Uh, if I can here, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up for you real quickly in case you wanna see a try on. I do have a, I believe I had a little crossbody video on my channel. Um, it probably is like two years old. But if you search uh, Vera Bradley little crossbody, I back in the day did a comparison video 
between the little crossbody and the little hipster. And so if you go back into that video, you'll see like a packing video and also like me just talking a little bit about the bag. But just in case you are interested in that, that is out there. But I will go ahead and try this on. So there's a little strings on my pants <laughs> kind of sticking out there. But this is what the bag looks like on the body. I did put my phone back here. It is, even though the strap is so thin, it is so lightweight. And I'm once again reminded why this is one of my favorite styles because it's just, it's so streamlined, it's so easy, it looks really good, it's so lightweight even though I have it filled with stuff. Just get you another peek inside of there with everything. I packed it a different way this time, but everything is in there. Um, I love it. Sometimes, even though the name badge is on the out on that side, I have absolutely worn it this way. That way my phone is, you know, a little more accessible, as you can see. But I think it looks really good on the body, even though, again, the strap is thin, it still feels really good because it's not it's not a huge package. It's a great, great size. This is one of those styles I wish they'd bring back to because it's super affordable. Oh, another thing, this little crossbody does have a cardboard base that's removable. So if you get this used, or if, even if you get it new with tags off third party site and you wanna wash it, turn this bag inside out and take the cardboard base out before you wash it, or else you're going to have a very messy bag and it'll be really annoying pulling all the cardboard off of it so please make sure you take that out first um, so yes it does have hard base in there and you got a lot of capacity here for a small bag again I was able to get all my necessities in there no I didn't fit my deodorant in there could I squeeze it right there yes I could but I'm not gonna do it I don't need to have it in there um, I always freshen up before I leave anyway so it's all good Anyway, that is what's in my little crossbody in the Retired Impressionista, and also a sneak peek of the new Vera Bradley Disney Partnership pattern that's coming out tomorrow. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment down below on you know what you thought, or if you're excited for the new Disney pattern, if you saw the sneak peek on Vera's Instagram. I love talking to you all. I really appreciate your comments on my video, and I... Hope to see you again really soon. Bye.